Try to find her way here, but anyway, um, so anyway, I got my tube change last Tuesday, did not film at all. On Sunday, I was swinging and my uh, tube started bleeding, and I'll insert pictures after this clip, but. I'm talking like bleeding, like not just a little bit above, but bleeding a lot. And we called the surgeon off call on Sunday night. He said, no big, you know, it, it's in the jejunum, small intestine, it's going to bleed. And so it still started, it was still bleeding on Monday. And so we called back because it's just something we didn't feel comfortable with. And so we called the surgeon that actually changed the tube last Tuesday. And he said um, that he thought it was too tight and come on in. And they're actually going to take out, I mean, that it's too tight against my skin. I'm sorry, I'm nervous, I'm talking fast. That it was too tight against my skin. So he is going to change it um, out and put a, um, um, uh, like a, like a tube with like a disc at the end. I've had it before. In 2012, that was what I had before, like before and after um, my surgery in 2012. Um, that's what actually got changed out in 2012, and so, but it won't be like as invasive as it was before. But, but anyway, um, but yeah, that's what happened. So I'll be getting out a new tube, and uh, I haven't been this way in a ton. And I'll get a Mickey. And He said bring her in yesterday, but I couldn't get in because nobody's really here. Right. We live in Davidson. Right. We can't get here with him. Right. And um, he thinks that one is, he said he noticed it was tight last time he changed it, and he thinks it needs to be resized, and that we're probably going to have to put in the long G, regular G, until we can get a different size button. Okay. All right. Well, if that makes sense. Yes, I think she changed the tube. Mm -hmm. She stuck it straight down. Okay. She didn't go this way. She went that way. Okay. And that's how she got into the coal. Yeah. Okay. And see, it was like a viral. And the symptoms were like a. It's all. It's a long story. It was like a viral thing. I took her to the pediatrician. And he said, "We, I think that's a virus. Bring her back if she's not better." Right. That Sunday, I opened her tube, and when I did, it shot out against the wall. Yep. And I'm like, there's no kind of force that's in the intestines. There's got to be. So I took her to the emergency room there at exit 25, and they kept telling me there was nothing wrong with her. 
I said, checker tube, please checker tube. So they put the contrast in. They said, get her down to Levine as quick as you can or colon to the punch. Yeah, okay. So, that's right, the whole right. background. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, when looking at this tube now is, um, my concern is if you, there's no tube that you can put in that in the afternoon will be looser yeah. and then in the morning will be tighter unless you do it yourself with the bolster. Yeah. But then oftentimes those will loosen up even when you need to be tighter. Yeah. So when I look at this button right now, yeah. it's the right size. Okay. So I think the bleeding, right now I think the bleeding is just from irritation. Okay. Um, now there could be a small ulcer there. So if the bleeding is an ongoing problem, then we might even have to consider a scope to take a look. But right now, based on what you're showing me on the dressings, uh -huh. and based on the way that the tube looks now, yeah. I don't. I think it's going to get better. I don't think it's going to be an issue. And okay. if it only bleeds every now, every now and then on the dressing, then it's nothing to worry about. Okay. Now, what about your poops? Are your poops? <laughs> Um, I wanted to tell you guys, finish it off, because this is where I, um, stopped filming completely, that last clip you guys just saw. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys that the issue of the pain and the bleeding pretty much resolved itself. Um, my last bleed was, like, February 5th, which was the Tuesday before the appointment on Wednesday, and that was just a little bit, but majorly it was the Monday before the appointment, so... The Tuesday before the appointment, I bent down a little and it bled, but that was pretty much the last time it bled. So it was pretty much resolving. It pretty much resolved itself. I'm thankful it did, but it pretty much resolved itself. And um, just wanted to update you guys there since I just left you off on like a... Where I didn't really explain what happened after the appointment. And so, yeah. But as you can see, the plan of getting a new tube didn't really work out. And I guess... At first I was frustrated, but then I guess it resolved itself, so I guess that it was meant to be to keep the button in, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, I did film when I went to the doctor uh, last Monday, but it was only two clips, and I didn't film going there or anything. It was just me sitting in the house, so I don't think I'm going to post those because it's only two clips, and I did not film on Valentine's Day at all. And so this is, I made this video, these clips, on February 6th, and it is... February 19th, so it's a while. I know I edit way out of, I just give myself a lot of time to edit. I don't know why, but I do. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the um, vlog. It's kind of a rainy, dreary, cold day here, so I've been in, reading uh, Karen Kingsbury, reading Sunday. Shocker. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah. God bless.